Sound and music was my original training. So although these days I'm making videos and drawings and objects, so the music is also, it's still one of the lenses through which I process the world. As a student, I play the double bass. As a double bassist, you don't really play a lot. So you spend a lot of time mentally prepping yourself for the passage to come. And the, 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 the way you would do it is to sort of silently finger through the passage. And I remember thinking what it might sound like if the entire orchestra started doing that as a way to practice a piece. The Muta situation, the, the whole series started with a pretty simple prompt. I was asked to make a series of works for a library. There's some interesting energy in that paradox. In that a library, you think of it as a quiet place, but it's not a place without sound. Certainly, if somebody like a librarian sort of walking around with a cart and pushing books around, those sounds are heard and not judged against. I started sort of thinking about the different situations where like you could actually very selectively choose to mute one layer of sound. I basically sat down and wrote 20 of these situations. When I needed to make uh, another one for the Sydney Biennial. I knew that I wanted to make that one the last one. So I thought about this idea again, and I know the orchestra is just going to work, like sonically. You need something that is almost too ridiculously romantic, with big sweeping orchestral gestures, like one layer of sound colliding over another, the entire string section speaking against the wing section. Tchaikovsky's Fifth, um, it, it's used in movie a lot. It's used in advertising a lot. So even if people don't know the entire symphony, there would be uh, themes and motifs that people would recognize from here and there. So then you would get this effect of almost ghosting of the melody in your head. If you have a remote control and you can mute specifically one layer of sound and then have the other layers of sound remain. That's what muta situation is. Underneath that pitch layer, there's rhythm, there's bodily movement. You know there are all these things that exist, but they are just not being heard. There's an aggressive energy behind that idea of muting something.